Good morning YouTube and welcome back to uh, Ride the Six Motorcycle Channel. Um, today we're doing a little bit of a different video. Uh, so behind me we have my 2009 Pontiac G8. Um, there's a little bit of a backstory behind this thing and you guys can probably relate this has probably happened to you before. So back in August I took the car into a Chevy dealer and uh, I had some work done on the car. So basically what I had a cool leak so it was leaking from the back thermostat is what they were telling me. So I, I took in a brand new uh, thermostat, thermostat housing. I took in three jugs of coolant. I took in brand new upper and lower intake spent, uh, intake gaskets for the, uh, for the t top part of the motor. And there was no problems with the car other than with, other than just basic coolant leak. So I get the car back and the very first thing I noticed as soon as they gave me the car back, all my grills were peeled off. Um, so probably from them working over top of the car, chafing them and rubbing them, whatever. Anyway, it's not a big deal, small thing, but still it happened. I pointed it out. They didn't want to take responsibility for that. And also the second thing, which is even more important, the car, by the time I got the car back to my driveway from the dealership, the car was overheating. Um, so I had to dump another two and a half liters of coolant in the car when I already gave them, I gave them three jugs of coolant which is almost like 12 liters, which is more than enough to fill the car and burp the car properly. So they didn't do that. So the car basically overheated on the way home. So that I fixed myself. I topped the coolant up. I took off the rad cap and I burped all the coolant properly, let it filter flow through. No problem. So they didn't want to take responsibility for that. I said, well, why was this car released with low coolant? Oh, I don't know. Why are my grills scratched up? Oh, I don't know. And on top of that, I now have a cylinder six misfire in the car, which I've never had before. The car has never misfired. I've never had any problems like that with the motor. So basically they're saying, oh, well, there's, there's nothing that we would have done that would have caused this issue with the car. Okay, sure, whatever. I don't agree. I think it's totally related to the work they did because I never had a problem with the car before I took it in. And then as soon as I get the car back, the car's misfiring, like the engine's going into lip mode, shutting down, like, Come on, guys. You know, that's not normal, right? So anyways, today, guys, stick with us. We're going to tear the top of the engine down again. We're going to take off the intake. We're going to see if the gasket's seated properly, see if they didn't mess the gasket up. Um, we're going to check the plugs, check the coils. We're going to do all the stuff that they should have actually done, and they should have been. They should have gone good for it. But at that point, I was just so annoyed. I was just like, get me the hell out of this dealership. So, Anyways, guys, stay tuned. We're going to tear the top of my... Uh, V6 Pontiac G8 down, and we're going to see if they screwed anything up. Alright, so I've loosened all the bolts for my cold air intake. So we're going to pop these hoses and stuff off. Just like a little breather hose. Pop that off the throttle body, and we can pop it off. We're going to pop it off our. Um, airflow sensor the MAF okay guys so we've got all the uh, the intake bolts loosened off we've got our uh, throttle body cables disconnected does this have to come off here that one yeah okay, unplug that we're gonna take all these PCV hoses off yep taking off the PCV hoses Dude, there's oil here You didn't get that pinch plug yet, right? No. I'll pull that when I get it out. <laughs> now, the bolt in the back, the small one, you're not going to be able to get that out. Um, so the best thing to do is you have to pull that intake out with the bolt. And also, you got to put it back in that way. Pull that pinch connector. <laughs> okay. What we'll do is we'll pull it out. So yeah guys we're just so th this is the work that the dealers already done um, but we have to reverse engineer it now because um, essentially there's something wrong with the car and they were like well there's nothing that we would have nothing that we would have done or nothing that we would have touched that would have caused it all right guys so look at this we just took off the top uh, intake and uh, check out our uh, check out our like top in intake gasket this is a brand new gasket I gave the dealer um, to install and check it out
That is probably the problem with the car. I told the shop this from the beginning. I said this is probably related to a, the top uh, intake gasket. These are shit gaskets. Well, they're felt pros. They're supposed to be good. But, uh, but anyways, guys, the dealer told me, no, it's not the gasket. Your car would just run rich. Like, they wouldn't even listen. Like, they just knew everything. And look at that. We take the intake off, and the gaskets are f So um, that's the problem right there, probably, with the car. Uh, so we're going to try the old gasket, and we're going to put it back together and see what happens. Okay, guys, so we're going to put... Um, we're going to put the old metal gaskets that I had in the car previous to taking it to the dealer. Um, we've cleaned them up with um, a little bit of brake cleaner and whatnot. And um, Metal gaskets seem to work better. Well, let's hope. Let's hope that's the problem. Okay, and just remember this bolt in the back. You must put that in and hold it while it goes in because you cannot get it in or out. Oh wow, okay. sat right in. Yeah, she sat right down. Let me see if this will work it up. Um, we'll hook back up the PCV hoses on the intake itself. Do I have to get that pins plug in here now? Yep. But let me get the bolts in first. Let's okay. get it in. And we'll get it torqued down. I'll get this bolt kind of started. Okay, now if you remember, we have two short bolts. One short bolt in the back, and the other short bolt goes in the front right. And the other four are the long ones. Okay, that bolt started. There it is. I'll plug it in. Okay. And a little pinch plug. Make sure we plug that in. Okay, it's plugged in. And we can run these bolts down. So again, guys, we don't actually know if this is going to fix the problem, but rather than do everything all at once and then not really know what the fix was, all we've done is change the upper intake gasket back to the originals before it went into the dealer. So. Um, one thing at a time. Let's see if this fixes the issue. Okay. All right, so our top intake's torqued down. Um, we're going to put our, I guess we'll throw our cold air intake back on and wire everything back up. And we'll take it for a little spin. Alright, there we go guys, uh, cold air intake's back on, um, all the clamps are tightened back up, uh, PCV hose is all in place, everything's torqued down, um, let's hook the battery back up to the car and uh, let's start her up. spitting out anywhere so we didn't f anything up too bad we're gonna have to take it for a little test ride guys stay tuned so we're just trying the car out guys a uh, little road test here I guess you could call it um, before I could stamp the car off and lighten it would uh, backfire and misfire the engine would go to limp mode and pretty much cut, shut the car down on me um, this is right after taking it from the dealer immediately from taking it from the dealer so um, I'm hoping this the gaskets are the issue
Like I'm hammering on it pretty hard here and uh, so far no warning lights, no air lights, no error codes. But uh, we'll give it a couple more shots. Yeah, we're heading on the way to DQ to get some lunch. I want a light where I can just hammer it. Oh, here we go. It seems to be running better. It seems to be running fine. Like, hammer it. Uh, I got this Lincoln in front of me. Thinks he's got a sports car, so. Now hammer it. I don't know. Feels really solid, man. I had the pedal right to the floor there. Um, yeah, no error code so far, guys. Let's hope that uh, fixed the issue. We'll keep you updated. All right, so I've got an update on the car, guys. So the reason I didn't put this video a long time ago because I wanted to make sure that the car was actually fixed or not fixed. So um, you, you saw in the video when we removed the upper intake that one of the gaskets was kind of grabbed and folded over. I don't know if that's if we did that when we took off the top intake. Um, I think suspect we may have, just because there's a bolt there and it's easy to grab that gasket. Um, and also, I think if the dealer had put that gasket in the position we saw it laying in, I think it would have been crushed down a lot more. So I'm not going to fault the dealer for maybe putting the gasket in wrong because I think maybe when we pulled out that intake I think we damaged the gasket now that being said we put the original um, intake and gaskets back in the car I have not had one cylinder six misfire since we put the original gaskets back in and that's exactly what I told the dealer I said guys this problem is related to the intake gaskets right and I gave the new gaskets which should have been fine um, so those were Felpro gaskets, which are usually top of the line gaskets. But from what I'm seeing, those Felpro gaskets are thinner, a little bit thinner than what the stock GM gaskets are. So if you do have a problem like this in your car, I wouldn't recommend the Felpro gaskets. You might run into the same issue with the Cylinder 6 misfire. So the Felpro gaskets are gone out of the car. I've thrown them out. I haven't even bothered to return them to Rock Auto. Um, so problem is fixed guys there's no cylinder six misfires on the car um, but again the dealer the customer service was garbage they scratched up my grills which they didn't acknowledge and they didn't fix even though i showed them right away uh, the car came back with low coolant and i had to top that up myself which they didn't want to take responsibility for and they couldn't give me any explanations and then the third thing was the cylinder six misfires I told them it was those intake gaskets. They wouldn't listen. They were starting to start to diagnose like plugs and coils and all that kind of stuff. I said, guys, just give me the keys. Like I'm out of here, right? So, anyways, guys, I wouldn't take your car to this dealer. Um, I'll I'll tell you the name. Basically, Nurse. So I'm out in Whitby. This is Nurse uh, Chevrolet. So um, I haven't had problems with them before, but this time. Man, did they ever screw up my car. Like, to, to have one mistake, I understand. But to have the car come back with three things, the grill scratched up, low coolant, and cylinder six misfires, complete fail on the part of that dealership. So, it's up to you guys if you want to take your car in there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take my car back there, actually. I don't know. And I'm probably going to send this video over to the, the actual manager of the dealership so anyways guys so that's it for the G8 I needed to get that video off the plate um, it's been a long time it's been floating around since the summer um, and you can see I'm working on some other stuff behind me here for the for the motorcycle uh, the R6 front end conversion um, anyways guys I would like to wish everybody a happy new year I hope you had a good Christmas happy new year like subscribe stay tuned there's lots of stuff coming and we'll see you in the next video